The Super Mario Brothers movie follows brothers Mario and Luigi, plumbers who are transported to an alternate world and become entangled in a battle between the Mushroom Kingdom and the Koopas. And it was so much fun. I have to say I do not understand this at all. I'm a longtime Mario fan from the mainline games, Mario Kart, Mario Party, which just makes me want to rip my hair out, but you know, you love it anyway. From Donkey Kong to Luigi's Mansion, big Nintendo guy. But that doesn't mean I was just gonna love this no matter what. When it was announced Illumination would be the company behind it, I had my hesitation, many people did. We all got our opinions out there when the voice cast was announced. Some people were pretty hesitant about some of that. But I have to say, I had a blast with this movie. It is 90 minutes, as it should be, and every single one of those 90 minutes was entertaining. I had a big smile on my face the entire time, and I may have been brought to tears a tiny little bit at least once, and I am not ashamed to say it. I was just so happy seeing so much of this Mario imagery that I loved up on the screen, and it was so fun that maybe I got a little teary-eyed at one point. You don't play Mario games for the story, and this is not a game. What works in a game or in a movie might not work in the other. You gotta make some changes. But they stuck very true to what a Mario game is like. Very, very simple, very colorful, very bright, very fun. This movie is not going to change your life. The story is very simple. Go stop Bowser. Save Luigi. Save the kingdom. There's very little overall to it. There's very little depth to most of it. The characters and their motivations are as simple as they can be. Save my brother. Stop Bowser. Marry Peach. You're not going to get a lot of scenes where characters stop and talk about their feelings. You're not going to get in-depth, logical explanations for why this world has magic boxes in it that if you punch them, magic mushrooms come out and you can eat them and get superpowers. It just is that way because that's how it was in the games, and that's how it should be. Because can you imagine if the movie just stopped and they gave you weird exposition trying to scientifically explain why the Mushroom Kingdom worked the way it did? That would be so stupid, no one cares. Why do you lose the power when you get hit? Because it's a video game. You just have to go along with that. And I think it's easy to do so, because it is so much fun. There's very minimal character development. There's a little bit for a couple of characters, but for the most part, that is not what it's focused on. It tries to add a little bit of depth. When you're talking about Mario's life back home, his family, his job, that's there as an extra tiny little bit to give you a, a small emotional core to the whole thing, but it is not the focus by any means. It is minimal. And so much of this may sound like negatives. And yes, the movie could have been a lot more complex. Just because it's a kid's movie doesn't mean you can't do a lot more with it. Just because it's a video game movie doesn't mean you can do a lot more with it. And in inevitable sequels and spin-offs and whatever, I would like to see them go a little bit more complex, a little bit more character-driven. But I am serious that this was so entertaining non-stop from start to finish that I don't really care much about any of that. It keeps the focus exactly where it needs to be. It's basically go, 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 gives you all the basics that you need to know to get invested in what we're doing here with this world, this story, these characters, and then we go. Non-stop action and movement the entire time. It's beautiful to look at, the colors, all of the creatures and the landscapes that you're gonna be familiar with from the games, and even if you're not, they're interesting, they're unique to look at. The character models, I love the way everybody looks. I think. Illumination did a really good job here. This is probably my favorite movie that they've ever done. And obviously you are going to get a lot more out of this if you know a lot more about Mario and the history of the franchise and a lot about Nintendo because there are so many references, whether it's the big ones in your face or a lot of the more obscure ones that are gonna be in the background for like a second. There was so many moments. I'm just eyes wandering around the screen at all times looking for any tiny little thing. And yeah, that doesn't make a movie good having a ton of references but I was having so much fun anyway and that just added to it seeing all of these little things that made it seem like they put care and effort 
into constructing so much of this. I think the voice cast is really good all around. I don't know what my ideal choice for Mario would have been, other than, I mean, Charles Martinet, the guy who has actually voiced Mario forever, but I think Chris Pratt does a really good job. People have been hesitant about him from the trailers, but when you're actually sitting there watching the movie full context, I think he really works. It's kind of different, kind of makes it his own, kind of like that's the movie version of Mario, while feeling still true enough to the character. Then you got Anya Taylor-Joy as Peach, who's good. Charlie Day is great as Luigi. The casting choice that I was most excited about, Jack Black as Bowser. He was the best. He was unbelievably good, actually. When he's got that deep, intimidating, ferocious voice, he was great, and he's also extremely funny. I actually wanted a lot more Bowser screen time. I hope we get more of him in future movies, but I understand why this was more focused on Mario and Peach, but whenever he was on screen, he was so good. Keegan-Michael Key as Toad is good. Seth Rogen is great as Donkey Kong. At first, it didn't even really sound like him a little bit. Uh, later on, he starts laughing and I'm like, well, yeah, okay, clearly him. <laughs> It really felt like they were having fun. I'll say, actually, Anya Taylor-Joy was kind of the least interesting to me as a voice performance. She's a great actress. I've loved her and everything I've seen her in, and she's good here, but I think it's because of the character. You know, she's not playing Donkey Kong or Bowser. She's Peach, so it's a little bit more of a simple voice performance. Good, but I, I, maybe not outstanding. And as I've said, the characters are very simple. A lot of it is based on what you are bringing into this. Do you want to see Mario on the big screen? Mario, whose core personality trait is that he says, Wahoo! Do you want to see him say Wahoo? Yes, I do. And, and he says it. And it's great. <laughs> They're simple, but effective at what they're trying to do, what their motivations are in the story. When you get characters like Bowser and Donkey Kong, they're a little bit more fun. They add a lot of spice. They add a lot of comedy. There is a Luma from Super Mario Galaxy. I loved this character. This little thing was so funny. <laughs> And there's just so much potential here to do more. I mean, if this is going to be successful, which it absolutely will be, what else can we get from Nintendo? Can we get that Zelda movie? Can we get Metroid, Luigi's Mansion? There are so many things to do in sequels, so many more lands and characters and power-ups and things you can explore. And I would like them to do a little bit more with the character writing and the story and the character development in the future. I think they totally can. And this one could have been a lot better. You could have had a lot more to it going on in the writing department, in the complexity department. It's extremely simple, but in that way, I think it does really capture the vibe of the games so well. I'm not gonna be thinking about it because of the incredible character pieces. I'm gonna be thinking about it because it was so colorful and so entertaining and so action-packed the entire time and so many things from the Mario series that I've loved for so many years just portrayed so well on screen. And something I loved about some of the writing is that it felt very sincere. Mario games, again, they're not about the story, they're not about the characters, there's a lot of goofy random stuff in there, of course. And you would expect, especially in modern cinema, that there would be a lot of poking fun at itself. You know, there were so many times I thought there were gonna be jokes like, wait, you're all named Toad? Isn't that kind of weird? Isn't that kind of confusing? Wait, why are you the princess? Why are you not the queen? There are just things about Mario and Nintendo series that just don't make any sense. And I expected them to poke fun at a lot of that. And for the most part, they don't, if at all. And some of those jokes could have worked and could have been funny, but they were the jokes I already came up with in my head and they were like the most obvious easy ones. I would have rather had dialogue that surprised me and they don't go for that kind of easy dialogue. So it felt like they were adapting this sincerely, as sincerely as you can for something that is silly and goofy and just meant to be simple fun and adapting it seriously while still maintaining that goofy fun simpleness. It felt like they cared, and for Mario's first outing, the idea of let's keep it simple and entertaining, just like you're playing Mario Galaxy or Mario World or Super Princess Peach or whatever. I think that worked. A lot of the fun comes from recognizing so much of this. So if someone says, 
plot was a little bit too simple for me. It was a little bit too basic of a kid's movie because I don't know anything about these Koopas and dry bones and bloopers and whatever. I don't know what any of that is. Okay, I understand. A lot of the joy absolutely comes from my fandom. There is a bias there that's just inevitable. But kids are going to have a blast with it no matter what. And for adults, I think even if you are not super familiar with the Mario Brothers universe, I think there's just so much here. They're so fast-paced and colorful and energetic and funny that I think you can get a lot of enjoyment out of it regardless. I also really enjoyed the music from the references to the games to the soundtrack, which I could see some people thinking felt a little bit random, not really the music that you would expect to appear in a Mario movie, but I liked the songs. I thought they were used in a fun way. I went in with lowered expectations. I knew it wasn't going to be a groundbreaking achievement of screenwriting, but I just expected fun, and it was actually way more fun than I even expected. I'm very happy with how it turned out. The characters might be the biggest barrier of entry for people who are not Mario fans because they are so simple, especially with Mario and Peach. They are done well. Peach is given quite a lot to do compared to how she many times is <laughs> in a lot of the games, but they are very much Guy, Princess. A lot of the joy will be related to how excited you are to see Mario and Peach and all of these people on screen, but it's so much better than whatever this was. It's, it's Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. I actually think it's significantly better than both Sonic movies, which a lot of people seem to love. And admittedly, I am a much bigger fan of Mario than I am of Sonic. That is just the case. But also, I genuinely believe this was way better. The Sonic movies have some things they do better, and they have some ways in which they're more accessible to non-fans, but I think they have some serious issues that this movie does not have, because it doesn't give itself time to have those issues, because it is so focused on being simple and fun for 90 minutes, and that's one of the biggest flaws you can have with it if you really get annoyed by that simplicity. But for me, the entertainment value was just so high that I didn't mind. I think this is one of the best video game movies of all time. I'm going to give the Super Mario Brothers movie an A-, minus, and I don't even care. Like, yeah, the character development, super complex plot, it's just not there. Oh well. He said, wahoo. It was fun. They drove on Rainbow Road. Sue me. So many possibilities for the future. If you want to go the route of a little bit more complex, you can adapt one of the RPG storylines a little bit more, either Mario RPG, the Paper Mario series, the Mario and Luigi series. There are options. There are many characters and pieces of lore you can pull from. There's so much you can do, and I hope they do more in the future. I would be down for a Bowser solo movie. I just want more of Jack Black as this character in any form, but I am excited to see all of these actors return and do more, and whatever possibilities this opens for more animated video game adaptations, I think it was a ton of fun. But leave your thoughts down in the comments because this was all just my opinion. So I'm really curious to hear what you're going to think. If you're a big fan of the games, did this scratch the itch of seeing Mario on the big screen? Was it too simple even for you? And if you haven't really played the games much, you don't know a lot about this universe, how did you feel? I'd be really curious to know, but I think if you just go in expecting a simple, colorful, fun time, you're going to have at least a mildly good time. I had a great time. But leave your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me. Thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed. Twitter and Letterboxd, I have those links in the description if you want to follow me there. Thank you so much for the support, and I hope to see you for the next one.